with some of your questions. So now that we have sort of the audio thing figured out, hopefully it stays uh, it stays good. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to this first live here on my YouTube channel. I wonder if I'm going to be able to cut it up so that we don't have to worry about all that audio stuff earlier. But I wanted to try out a two-camera setup. Um, I have a webcam straight up like this, and then I have a camera setup up here because I wanted to do stuff like unboxings, and I could end up doing unboxings live on my YouTube channel, for example. So uh, that's really what I wanted to have set up here, and I'm going to unbox something pretty special a little bit later, so I'm going to um, get started on that after I answer some of your questions from the Twitter, uh, the tweet rather, that I put out yesterday. Um, all right, cool. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and go to camera one for now, or rather go to my webcam for now while I answer some of your questions. Now, Kanoopsi, uh, great YouTuber, by the way. Uh, you should check out his stuff. Uh, really loved watching his stuff while I was at Android Authority. I still watch that stuff now. Um, and what was really great was that Kanoopsi kind of reached out um, not only on the YouTube video uh, of me exiting Android Authority, but also on Twitter. So great to hear from you, man. Um, T recommendations. Okay. It's really easy for me to... Um, it's really easy for me to say that... Uh, matcha tea is my favorite because it's the easiest tea to make to be honest for all of the benefits that you get from matcha tea um, it's super easy to make you just get a little bit of that powder throw it into either hot or cold water I told you it was really easy to make and you just mix it all together you could use a shaker bottle or you can uh, make the uh, or you can use something like a blender or you can use a milk frother um, but the traditional matcha method the traditional Japanese method is to use like a bamboo whisk so you actually whisk some of it together into a small amount of water and then once you break up all of the lumps and everything like that you just add the rest of the water and you're good to go uh, the ceremonial method of making matcha is um, a little bit more involved all the other methods are a lot simpler and they're really easy to do on the go especially and that's why matcha tea uh, of pretty much any grade um, can be something that I bring on trips all the time I'm actually traveling again this Sunday and I'm gonna have a big thing of matcha tea about that much um, while I uh, am traveling out in Europe this uh, this Sunday for the next week uh, let's look at a couple of other ones Speaking of traveling, one of my friends, Jessica, um, best city you've ever traveled to and must eat restaurant there, huh? Well, if you watched my vlog uh, from actually yesterday, um, I did a vlog about my travel to Manila and all of the great food that I had out there. And Manila is a wonderful place that is pretty eclectic. And it's also kind of crazy because um, granted, the Philippines is a third world country, and by the way, yes, I am Filipino. Um, the Philippines is a third world country, but there's a lot of progression that's happening in Manila. My only problem with it is that it's like, it, it gets segmented. There are just pockets of progression there, um, but it's in those places that you can get some pretty awesome foods and meet some pretty awesome people. Um, and when you go into the more impoverished areas, you can still meet some wonderful people there as well. But seeing the seeing the disparity between the two so quickly, that's what got pretty gnarly for me. Because uh, on the one hand, I would enjoy myself in an area that is obviously developed, and then just one kilometer away in a in a in a taxi or when my girlfriend was driving me around, you would end up seeing all of the poverty so quickly, and uh, that just kind of got to me a little bit. That was kind of the point of the Manila vlog yesterday. There's a lot of great stuff in Manila, like the food. Don't get me wrong, Filipino food, probably my favorite food of all time, but I'm biased. Um, and uh, you're able to get some really great food out there, but there are problems in that city. There are problems even in that country. And we don't have to get into all that now, but it's crazy how you can have all of that happening into just like one place. They call Los Angeles, which is where I'm from, uh, a big melting pot. Uh, but I mean, you, you can see just how melted, let's say, uh, a bunch of these other cities are throughout the world if you travel enough. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, quick shout out to Matt Jofis Josephson. Uh, thanks for saying the setup looks good. This is kind of what I wanted to do. This is also kind of mobile. So I would love to do a two camera setup like this and do lives um, in other places, especially when I'm traveling. And that's something I'm going to give a shot to um, in the future. Uh, maybe not this upcoming trip, but in future ones. Uh, let's see what other ones. Oh, um, 
best city you've ever traveled to and the must eat restaurant there. Um, I have to I have to say that I'm a sucker for metropolitan areas, so I really enjoy New York. I love London. Um, in London, one of my favorite restaurants to go to there is um, the Rock and Soul, which is where they have not only fish and chips, but the fish that they use are straight up sharks. So you can have a fried shark fin with chips. And it's it's an awesome place to eat. It's really just sort of homey. And you go in there, it's a small spot, and then you have the shark and chips, and it's, it's amazing. Uh, in New York, I was actually introduced to one of my new favorite restaurants by um, a couple of friends over at Engadget, uh, Chris Velasco and Sherlyn Lowe. Uh, some of you may know them. Uh, they introduced me to Mala Dry Hot Pot, and I'm going to get hot pot after this, like more basic uh, Mongolian hot pot, super spicy as I usually like it. But dry hot pot, that was a whole revelation to me. That was crazy. And um, there's no soup, but you get all the flavors from the soup still because of the way that they cook it. It was amazing. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Julian, one of our uh, number one fans. What's up, Julian? Uh, what's one part of the Philippines that you would want to go to? And happy birthday, Josh. Well, thank you for the birthday greeting, Julian. Uh, the part of the Philippines I want to go to is uh, Batangas, uh, in particular uh, Lipa City, uh, because that's where my parents met. And I, I haven't been there in like 20 plus years. Um, and I really want to go back there because when I was there, I don't have too many memories of it. We did spend more time in Manila. And this past trip, and then the trip before it, when I went to see my girlfriend out in the Philippines uh, for the first time, um, it was uh, in Manila, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad if Manila was never really my destination anymore. I'd love to go back to Batangas to see it there. I'd love to go to Bohol, and then I hear so many good things about Cebu as well. Uh, give me one second. Let me throw the tea bag away real quick. All right. Quick check in the chat. Let's see how everybody is doing. It looks like everybody is going to be talking about um, my... My transition, let's call it. Um, yes, I did leave Android Authority a couple of weeks ago, just before Computex, as a couple of people did say in there. Uh, and um, I'm not going to go into too many details about what happened, but let me tell you right now, uh, there's no, there are no hard feelings on either side. Um, it was just time for me to go. And for somebody like me that has helped build a huge channel like that, um, I learned so many things being there and it's always going to be a home to me and because of all of the things that I learned um, it, I just had this desire to sort of branch out and to spread my wings if you will and uh, it, it just felt like it was time for me to especially because of a number of opportunities that sort of came to me uh, if you watched my Computex stuff uh, you probably have an idea of what those were uh, but on that record I will say I'm not joining Gadget Match as a matter of fact I'm not really joining anybody I'm just collaborating with anyone and everyone that will have me. And one thing I did learn um, throughout the transition from Android Authority to this solo career of mine is that uh, there are a ton of people out there who really want to work with me. <laughs> and it was incredibly humbling. It was very, um, it was very appreciated, the level of support that I was feeling from everybody. And I just couldn't believe uh, how many people out there were keen on um, teaming up. And I look forward to showing myself, showing my name and my face on so many different outlets. Uh, and I want to be sort of like the free agent of tech. So you might see me on certain publications. You might see me collaborate with all of my friends. A few of you already know who those people are in my Twitter um, from even just today when I was talking about a couple of them. And you can see me collaborate with just about anybody. And I think that's the most exciting part about what I'm doing now. When I first started in this industry, I was really a fan of the collaborative spirit that people in tech seemed to have. Uh, I, I used to watch Dignation, all of these podcasts from back in the day, back in the Revision 3 network. Um, and I just loved seeing how they teamed up with so many other people just to have fun. And uh, yes, they talked about tech and yes, they provided information, but it was all about the collaborative fun. Um, and just like a year or two into my, my, my time at Android Authority, I began to realize that um, there was uh, a little bit more of a separation from all of the different, let's say, publications and creators. Uh, so collaboration was actually not as easy as I'd hoped. 
Um, and at this stage in my career, I would love to be the person that actually brings all of that together again. So if any of you out there are watching this and you want to collaborate, like, let me know. Um, and I just want to like give a quick shout out to a few people that I hope that I'll be able to work with. Obviously, I want to work with uh, uh, Mr. Mobile. Michael Fisher, as I know him, as I've always known him, and I always tease him about that too. I call him the Mr. Mobile because that's his social handle, so I always tease him that he actually put that in there. Uh, there are a number of other people out there, Jaime and um, uh, like hit the publication public, uh, Pocket Now, of course. Um, there are always a lot of people that I want to work with, um, and uh, one that I do want to kind of give a shout out to, and I hope that I hear from you pretty soon, is Brian Tong. Brian Tong is, uh, is, is a homie that used to be at CNET, and now he's on a solo adventure of his own as well. Um, he and I actually kind of got in touch for a second and I wanted to make sure that we continued our communication. So Brian, if uh, any of you, if, if you happen to be watching, hit me up again, buddy. And if any of you want to like tweet him out, tell him to respond to my email. <laughs> so um, I would really love for, for all of us to be able to work together. Uh, I Justine, I Justine would be would be awesome. Um, okay, Isa, my girlfriend who works at Gadget Match, um, she actually met I Justine and is a huge fan of hers. Uh, they met at CES and they were able to collaborate a little bit for 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 like one or two one or two videos, I think. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if Isa is able to say, hey, you know, my boyfriend is open to collaborating, would you love to? I'm like, yeah, of course I would. Um, let's see what else we got here. Josh Quinones, uh, hey man, let's hit me up. I mean, you got my email and all that. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out what's going on. Let's see. Ah, oh, Jivan, thank you again for the for the kind words. Okay, so there are, there is one question that I will answer, um, and it's uh, this whole idea of whether or not. Um, leaving Andrew Authority to open up my own channel, um, what that what sort of that struggle and sort of that challenge is. Well, the, the, the challenges are gonna be obvious, right? Because I'm going from a multi-million subscriber channel to basically one that has, well, at this point, about 18,000, and I'm super happy for all of you who have subscribed. If you haven't, do so. And um, obviously, there's going to be a, uh, it's kind of almost a, uh, a lesser name uh, that Joshua Vergara has. I call this channel JV, and anybody who talks to me about my channel calls it JV. So here at JV, um, obviously there's a little bit more work that has to be done for me to get to that sort of influential status um, so that I can work together with brands more more closely and whatnot. Uh, granted, the time that I had at my career at Android Authority um, obviously brought me to a lot of people that I still am able to work with, and I'm happy to say that I, I can work with them, but there are other opportunities that I was given, or rather offered, um, in the last few months that sort of made more sense for something like JV, rather than where I was at Andrew Authority. It is still a publication, so there is a system to the way that things work there, and uh, it worked just fine, um, and the work, even though it would pile on a lot, um, you know, there was a team there, and if there's one thing that I miss the most about Andrew Authority, it is that team. I'm working on my own now. Um, I'm still keeping this office, uh, which I'm really enjoying still, but as far as the team goes, it was great to have people kind of back you up. Now granted, I'm still really great friends with a lot of people, pretty much anybody at Android Authority, so um, if we see each other at shows, there's no reason for us not to still work together or to back each other up, just like old times, right? So quick shout out to David Amell. I mean, he was at Computex a couple of weeks ago, and we were hanging out the entire time. It was almost as if nothing changed. I mean, David and I were, were traveling a lot, uh, leading up to, uh, leave. we were traveling together a lot leading up to my exit, um, and then right after it, we both went to Computex together, me with Gadget Match as one of their collaborators, and then him with Andrew Authority, and it was like nothing ever changed. <laughs> it was really awesome. Uh, all right, so let's see what else we got here. Ah, uh, okay, so Jem, uh, good old Jem, if you haven't seen Jem on YouTube, you should check him out as well. Um, now that you're on your own, will we see you use an iPhone as your main phone? Issa loves the iPhone. Uh, yes, Issa does love the iPhone, but she's on like four different Android phones right now because those are all the phones that she's like testing. But I think she gravitates more towards the Pixel and the Huawei P20. Um, but this is actually a perfect question because uh, I hope the audio doesn't get crackly, but let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and reveal. Uh, Jem, you kind of were right on the money because the unboxing that I planned on doing here is this iPhone 10. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that the audio is doing fine right now. I haven't even taken a sip of my 
of my tea yet, but let's just take one real quick and just let everybody pause for a second to know that uh, I'm going to be unboxing this, and yes, this is going to be one of my daily drivers. Okay, so uh, 64 gigabytes. I have the black one, obviously, and I have used an iPhone 10 a little bit. Um, but what I can already uh, sort of impart as a criticism is that I kind of really hate uh, full screen gestures. So that's going to be something that I need to get used to. But why don't we go ahead and get started just a little bit here? I'm going to start. Un I'm going to start peeling a little. Uh, I don't know why there's this huge peel. Ah, there you go. This is uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> So yes, I obviously since I'm no longer an Android authority, I have the freedom to kind of go to any device that I want to. This was obviously going to be one that I wanted to try out. And there is actually a reason why I even have this iPhone 10. It's a reason that I'll reveal a little bit later on. Uh, but yes, I do have an iPhone 10 and I am going to use it. <laughs> Psycho Man is already <laughs> OMG. No, JV. But yes, this is uh kind of happening. All right. So we are unboxing this. I'm gonna go step by step and then answer a question. So right now you're gonna just stare at this for a little while, designed by Apple in California. Uh, let's see what our next question is. Megan Lamb, my good old friend. Megan, I'm gonna see you this weekend in San Diego. Uh, I'm actually gonna be going down to San Diego this Friday, so that Friday night I can go out drinking with some of my friends. San Diego is where a lot of my friends are because I went to college there. Uh, so Megan, your go-to karaoke song these days. Oh man, that's actually a good question because I, I don't know what happened, but I feel like my register went down a little bit, so I can't really kill Journey songs the way that I used to. I used to go straight for Faithfully, and that's like my favorite song of all time, and yes, uh, that's my go-to one generally. But lately, um, Michael Josh is going to love this. Michael Josh Villanueva, who is the founder and host of Gadget Match, he and I have this funny thing where every copy text thus far, which is two of them, we go up for karaoke and we sing uh, Flying Without Wings by Westlife. And that might be my go-to one because I can hit every note in that song, no problem. Um, my other go-to, which Megan, you're going to think is uh, is the same from before, and it is, is This I Promise You by NSYNC. Can you see that I love love songs, obviously? Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a kind of a uh, that's a theme when it comes to my music. Uh, I really like love songs, and the thing is, like nobody nobody in music these days makes songs like old love songs. You know, they, they don't really make them the way that they used to. Jules, yes, the worst place to commute in Asia so far has been Manila, but I know a lot of you fans out there are out in Jakarta, and I know that a lot of you said, come to Jakarta, it's a lot worse there. And I'm sure it's pretty bad in places like India, where I got some responses there as well. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that is, uh, yes, this is my life now, or it's going to be part of my life now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just turn that over so you guys can uh, get even more. Oh, no, it's not the black one. I got this. I got the white one. I didn't even notice. Um, okay, you can see already. I think you can see it sort of already. Yeah, there you go. There's already fingerprints on the back. Another problem with all of these glass devices, and the iPhone 10 is no exception. Uh, Roland, kind of embarrassed to ask, but how old are you actually? Today I turned 29. So there you go. That's my age. Um, and Brandon from This Is Tech Today uh, said that Asian youth is deceptive. Yeah, it probably is. I'm 29. I don't know if that uh, sounds right, makes sense to you or not, but no, like I am 29 and I probably seem a little bit younger, but I'm not. I'm 29. <laughs> um, Anardo McBean, great name. Uh, why don't you create a tech channel to do videos similar to the ones you did in Android Authority? That's kind of what I'm doing now. Um, okay, so there is a kind of release schedule when it comes to everything that I do on my channel. And Mondays and Fridays are kind of for me. Mondays are vlogs because I still like vlogging, but daily vlogging is really tough, so I kind of do like weekly vlogging. Uh, Fridays are going to be what I call Type 2 Foodie Fridays. And uh, I, I share some diet and health advice, maybe a little bit of exercise. Uh, but the main thing I want to do on Fridays is go to restaurants and teach people how to do low-carb versions of all of those dishes. Uh, for example, if I went to In-N-Out, I would teach you what a protein-style burger is. And if I went to any other burger joint, then I would tell you about lettuce wraps and stuff like that. So um, I want to be able to impart that because, yes, right now the keto diet is... Um, is at an all-time high in terms of how much people is how much people are talking about it. Uh, but as a type two diabetic, that's another thing you're learning about me right now. As a type two diabetic, I have to eat low carb. So that is uh, the reason why I wanted to impart that because I think that a low carb diet can actually benefit just about anybody. 
There we go. The peelies. I savored the peelies. All right. Do 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 do. Francis, how's the iPhone 10 so far? Well, this is the first that I'm actually uh, using it. Now here comes the uh, here comes the big reveal. Let me get this a little bit higher. And I hope there's a battery. Or am I not pressing? Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. The reality has begun. <laughs> I need to grab my other phone. Um, th this is really going to make some of you guys hurt. Um, I actually have another device that I'm testing at the moment, um, and that is going to be the daily. But the daily driver that I am going to replace with this, at least for now, as I get familiarized with this phone more, is uh, my Pixel 2. So yes, my Pixel 2 is getting replaced by the iPhone 10. So I hope everyone uh, can can deal with that. <laughs> Hola. Okay, let's bring this back down. I'm going to let that pulsate for a little while. Let's get this refocused. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that just sort of marinate for a while while I take a sip and look at our next... Let's see how the chat's going right now. Um, Matt jo Josephson, once again, just to let you know some of your fans are more than twice your age. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that that's, uh, that's true. I'm sure that some of my fans are half my age, um, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we sort of troll this a little bit? I'm going to go ahead and just leave that there. Yeah, I'm going to leave and uh, just let this pulsate some more. Oh, it's not even on right now. There we go. Let's, uh, let's get that up like there. Swipe up to open. No SIM card installed, that's okay. Quick start. Uh, nah. I don't have another iPhone, so there's no way I can quick start this. Let's see, I'm gonna do, let me just do this real quick. I need to get, uh, I need to get the Wi-Fi set up on here, so... Okay, so the Wi-Fi should be set up on there. Let's go back here. All right, it'll take a few minutes. Let's answer another question. Do any of you guys in the chat have any questions, by the way? Um, let's see. Am I married? No! <laughs> I am not married. Um, I have uh, a girlfriend, and I've mentioned that in this in this live already. Um, I have a girlfriend, though it was kind of funny that at one point I asked her um, because she, since she works at Gadget Match and she's a big social media person, I take a lot of pictures of her because she posts them on Instagram and all that. And um, I was taking a bunch of pictures of her one time, and I was like, "Look at me! I'm uh, an Instagram husband." And I'm like, is it husband? Is the term husband or boyfriend? Because I've heard both. And then she looks at me and she goes, have you proposed? And I, I freaked out when she said that. I'm not against marriage. It's just that that was like just a couple of months into us dating. So that's, uh, that's, that, that's, what, uh, that's what happened. Uh, let's see here. Earl De La Cruz. There's your shout out. Um, Alum Kalender. Do you hate Android Authority? No, I've never hated it. I've never hated them. And I don't think anybody should even think. There were a couple of comments in a few of my videos saying that I was fired from there. Couldn't be farther from the truth. It was time for me to go. Um, and as far as me disliking them or anybody there or anything about Android Authority, of course that's not the case. Um, if anything, the laptop I'm using right now still has the emblem on the back and a couple of my, um, a couple of my shirts I've, I've even worn recently. So, of course not. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Rob. Rob DeCourt said he answered that earlier. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I should... Blah, blah, blah. Am I going to review the iPhone 10? Yes, I am going to review this. It's going to be a little bit different because obviously, um, actually, now that I think about it, I should get the SIM card right now. Okay. Yes, I am going to be... I am going to be... Uh, reviewing this and it's going to be a little bit different though because all the reviews are already out obviously so it's not like I can do anything different uh, I can, it's not like I can do the exact same thing as before um, uh, before like just like everybody else so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to take the sim card out of my pixel 2 XL <laughs> I know everyone's going to be going nuts for this part um, but yes I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert the sim card and this is the other thing too so the sim card that I'm taking out here should be here. This is the best part. Not only am I moving from my Pixel 2 XL, but I'm putting a Project Phi SIM card <laughs> in my iPhone 10. 
<laughs> I'm causing so much sacrilege right now. Um, and this is this is kind of to another point. Um, I want to make it clear to everybody that even though I worked at Android 3 for a long, long time, um, and I do prefer Android, I still pr I very much prefer Android over iOS um, still for the most part. But I will say this: I've never hated iPhones. I've never hated iOS. So um, I'm totally open to doing this, and I'm excited to even. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. My project five should be set up. So let's uh, let's let that go for a bit. Whoa! Here you go. Can you pronounce my name properly? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Om. Probably the only the first part. Cac de. I don't know. Uh, ever play PUBG by Ten May Singhi? No, I haven't, and I'm actually really excited. Um, all right, let's see if we can continue doing that. You guys probably saw that happen, right? I might have a couple of problems, but while we're letting that potentially go, let's take a look at what else is inside the box. Oh, I still hate these. <laughs> I use Bluetooth. Uh, I use Bluetooth headphones typically. Um, truly wireless earbuds are like my favorite thing ever. Uh, so this stuff, I hate. And I'm not looking forward to the day that I lose these and I can't use them whatnot. I'd rather just use my Bluetooth headphones and then suck it up when the battery dies and put it back in the charger and wait for it to charge before I get back to listening to my music or my podcast or whatnot. Um, but at least it comes with these earphones um, so that I can just plug those into the lightning port. Uh, I do want to play PUBG. Um, I got Fortnite for my Switch, and so far I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Um, but I do want to move on to PUBG at some point. Pi de la Cruz, when you back to the PH, um, I hopefully will be back within the next uh, six months. I know that's a lot, especially considering my girlfriend lives in Manila. Um, yes, uh, I want to be able to see her as soon as possible, but that may not be the case uh, right away. So that's that's what happens. Andrew Young, would you ever consider coming to Scotland? Bring me out to all of the Scottish Isles and to drink all of the whiskey, and I am down. <laughs> my favorite whiskey uh, in college was Oban. So let's go to Oban, and I'm totally down for that. Uh, we have our charging cable. I'm going to need this. So this is what one kind of a peek behind the veil uh, here when it comes to tech reviewing is that generally when we do unboxings, uh, we actually don't always use all of the stuff in the box. Uh, what we have here generally is um, uh, the unboxing where we take out what is in the box. We sort of talk about it. But then we should already have, most tech reviewers already have a set up um, kit of charging cables and charging bricks and whatnot and unless there's a very specific reason to use what's inside of the box um, then we kind of just leave it in here because you know maybe one day we might have to sell the device and you want everything to be in pristine shape or you want everything to be in here so it doesn't get lost but in this case I need this cord because I don't have I don't have anything I uh, Apple I don't have any products from there so um, obviously I need to take this cable out and I got to use it to charge this bad boy. All right, let's get another let's get another question out of the way from Twitter. I've been answering stuff in the in the in the chat so far. Do 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 do. Whoa, there's a lot. Uh, Robbie Decourt. Oh, Rob, Rob, Rob Decourt, Robbie Decourt. Uh, where are you going in Europe? Uh, I'm going to be in uh, Paris, and I'm going to be in Germany. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly where, uh, but I am going to be in Paris for a couple of days, um, and then. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll share what I'm going to be doing out there um, while I'm there. So you can look forward to it next week. Suggest to me wireless headphones. By the way, happy birthday. I got two for you. I actually got two for you. Let me go grab them real quick. All right. I got two of them here. Super simple question because I have found my two favorite ones of all time. Uh, at least thus far, but all time, at least in, in the amount of time I've been looking for all of these, here are the ones that I always use, um, and these are great to have at all times. So these are the Jabra 65T, Elite 65T. It might be a little bit dirty, <laughs> but there you go. These are awesome. Uh, the case is small. You get a lot of uh, battery life out of these. And I love having just the right one in my ear because I always like having Google Assistant available. And I like having stuff in the background. So when I'm when I'm like out and about, I like having like YouTube playing in the background, music, podcast, game grumps, all that stuff. So this is awesome. But as far as travel goes, those are great. But these are the bee's knees. These are the best. This is... <laughs> The Sony pair that all of the tech YouTubers are using these days. So, <clears throat> now granted, the Bose, um, 
the Bose headphones with the active noise canceling, uh, those are great. They are they're actually a lot more they're actually more comfortable. I wouldn't say a lot more comfortable than these, but the sound cancellation on these here, the uh, I might get this wrong, the W H yeah, the WH-1000 Mark II, I believe, these are the best. Like, these completely change air travel. Because if you ever thought about the noise pollution that happens in a plane, um, it actually is super distracting. It keeps you from doing, uh, it keeps you from relaxing. And you have these on, you turn on the, the noise cancellation, whoosh, everything just goes away. It's the best. Um, a review on both of these headphones will be coming eventually, so you can look forward to that as well. Uh, but, of course, we're back to what we need to finish here, and that is, of course, my oh, my conversion to the dark side, <laughs> as I'm sure some of you say. Face ID. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's do this on camera for now, and then I'm going to get back to your questions. Face ID. Position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show... I've done this before. This is actually kind of cool. Um, get started. Position within the frame. There you go. Moving around the circle. And obviously, this is used not only for the security measures, but it's also used for the N emojis. Uh, I can't, I'm coming into the iPhone 10 at a pretty good time, actually, because the uh, N emojis are, uh, you can make your own now. And I'll, I'll probably make one on camera at some point later. Oh, I got to do it again. Second face ID scan. Face ID is now set up. Sweet. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Do I watch anime by Soham Trivedi? Uh, no. I uh, I wish that I had more time to, but I'm trying to get back into video gaming, and uh, yeah, I don't have the time to watch anime as consistently as I want to. Uh, for example, One Punch Man, I'm only two episodes in, so I'm way behind on that. Uh, will you be doing tea reviews, uh, LS2? Uh, I do want to do tea reviews. Um, I want to make them really simple, but the thing is, they're probably, like, Tea Tuesdays, like what I'm doing right now, um, basically, I want to do something on Tuesdays where I talk about whatever I want to talk about. It could be a review, it could be tech commentary, it could be commentary on even just a general thing, even current events, and the backdrop is that I am making tea, and I'm sipping it, and I will talk a little bit about the tea. As far as straight tea reviews, I might actually do that just on my Instagram. Um, and I might even do that like semi-daily, um, so I might just go out, grab some tea. Tea is actually a very affordable drink, by the way, so it's not like I would lose all of my money just exploring all of these teas. Uh, but doing something like this Earl Grey right now, I could probably just get on my Instagram and just do a few 15-second clips of me saying, hmm, for a tea bag, this is actually really good. And uh, it's really simple, it gives you a little bit of a boost because it's a darker tea. And if you want to get that boost, maybe around that two o'clock slump that everyone that everyone tends to have, Earl Grey is a great way to do it. It's also pretty light on the flavor, so you don't have to worry about anything too crazy coming out and making you not want to drink it. It's very easy to sip. Okay, um, which one of these qual plus minus? Which one of these qualities in the smartphone matter most to you? The camera, the performance, the battery life, or the build quality? I'm gonna have to say the camera because. Uh, when it comes to not only the camera quality, but also any accessories that I can use um, to make the camera experience even better, uh, that helps me be a better creator. Uh, so if the camera is good, then that means I am better as a creator, um, as a social media person, and as a video content creator. Because uh, if you haven't noticed by now, the last number of vlogs that I've done ever since leaving Android Authority were all shot on smartphones. Um, the only different, the only thing that I uh, used aside from my smartphone are these, which are, of course, the Snapchat spectacles. So I like having these for that first-person view, and they've worked wonderfully uh, so far. These are the version 2, by the way, and yes, I am going to... Um, oh, got a text message. And yes, I am going to review these as well. Uh, but the other thing that I use is actually one of these. This is a clip-on lens uh, that does two things. If you take off this larger area up here, it is a macro lens, and then when you screw it on, uh, it becomes a super wide angle. Oops. Real quick, let me change that. Uh, battery on the camera just died. Let me just swap that real quick. All right. See, what I like about this setup is that it's really easy to fix if anything happens. There we go. 
and I think we should be good to go. See how quick that was? I just had to swap the battery and we're back. To, we're already up and running again. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. This clip-on lens is really awesome. Uh, the main reason why is because if you're using the front-facing camera and you clip this onto the front-facing, it becomes a super wide uh, that looks a lot more natural and it looks really awesome, especially for IG stories. Um, the other thing too is that when you use the front-facing camera for things like that, uh, you'll be able to fit more people in the frame. So you can have more people. You can have a vertical video with more than just yourself in it. Um, and then of course for the rear, it's even better. Um, it, it works just as well, I should say. So one thing that I realized about smartphone cameras when I wanted to start vlogging with smartphones was that the uh, the focal length on all of them is just a little bit too narrow. Like it just almost is. Not, it's, it's just missing that little bit of wide. Um, that's the reason why I love phones like the G7, the G6, the V30 because they come with that wide angle lens. Um, so I'm really a big fan of wide angle um, because you can fit more, you can share more of the environment. It's a little bit more traditional look in, uh, in terms of like vlogging. So having stuff like that and moment lenses, which I'll get into some other time, that's really great for this kind of stuff. All right, so face ID is now set up. Let me create this passcode real quick. Um, what I want to do, that's the thing. I like pattern unlock a lot better than this type of passcode thing. So let me, there you go, use anyway. I thought that was right. Okay, cool. So here we are. So we're back to here. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to set it up. I always set all of my phones up as a, um, I always set them up as fresh uh, because I want to be able to download all the apps. I become more mindful about what I'm putting on my phone when I do it that way. Do, do, do. I don't remember what my Apple ID is for now. Can I skip this for the moment? Well, let me see if I can, let me see if I can do this real quick. Um, it's so funny to me. Like, I, I bet a lot of Apple IDs out there are, um, I bet a lot of Apple, ooh, no. Verification failed. This always happens. Every time I set up an iPhone, I forget what my password is. Oh, gosh. I hope this is right. Oh, yeah, it was right. Sweet. Okay. So let's do a couple more questions. Um, I wanted to be on this live chat for about an hour because I just wanted to hang out with all of you guys. I hope everyone is enjoying, by the way. This is a setup that I'm using for the first time, um, and I just want to know if everyone's enjoying so far. Uh, let's see. Sean Heron, would you ever consider doing a video showing your normal YouTube production workflow? Absolutely. Um, one of the days of the week that I want to do uh, content on is going to be centered around tutorial type stuff. So you can expect uh, something along the lines of like a Peter McKinnon or something like that. I'm never going to be as good as Peter McKinnon. I don't think so at least, um, but I will try to impart as much information as he does in his vlogs and in his tutorial videos. Um, so yeah, I do want to, like, stuff like this, like this two camera setup that I'm doing, I want to be able to share that as well. Um, let's see what else we got here. Go for Cranthy seventy nine. Uh, how you're? How are you going to integrate? How are you going to integrate your Android ecosystem with the Apple iPhone? Uh, for the most part, there's not a whole lot for me to integrate. Uh, because a lot of the applications I use are cross-platform. So for this phone to have things like Gmail and uh, there you go. So for me to have things like uh, Gmail and Google Photos and all that, like that's exactly what I'm what, what I what I enjoy about smartphones these days is that even though iOS does get some applications before Android does, for the most part, the experience can be the same between the two, and syncing data between the two just has to uh, uh, rely on things like Google's cloud. So it's not actually that big of a deal. Um, so especially with Google Photos, that's probably going to be my main thing. Um, I also use Adobe Cloud, so that's what I'm going to use as well for when I'm editing photos on the go. Uh, so I'm actually not too worried about that. The one thing I am worried about is uh, running out of space easily on this because I record 4K videos for vlogs and stuff like that. So as long as that is uploading to my Google Photos properly, I think I should be okay. Um, I don't need Apple Pay for now. I actually don't use uh, pay services. On these too often. I'm not going to use the keychain for now. I hate Siri. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm going to do a review on this phone at some point, but I have to say right now, having used Google Assistant for a number of years, I am not a fan of Siri. I will I will see how it is now, but I don't doubt that it's. I doubt it's going to be any better than what I remember it to be. I'm sure analytics, True Tone display. Okay, so it's a little bit warmer. Swipe. Okay, now here's here's the part that I always get a little bit miffed by. Um, more and more phones in the Android space are starting to move to this, where they don't even have buttons down here. And um, 
I'm really worried that uh, all Android phones are going to get to that point. Like the notch is one thing. Um, this whole notch phenomenon that's happening right now, I get it. You want to have a more full screen on here. And by introducing the notch, it made a lot of companies uh, start to think outside of the box. And that's really good. Um, so we're actually getting some pretty awesome stuff. Like just uh, just yesterday or just this morning, I think, um, Oppo announced the Find 10, and it has like a pop-out area that has all of the cameras. Stuff like that is awesome. So things like these notches and whatnot, that, that makes a lot of sense. So it makes a lot of sense that this would disrupt the market enough to make innovation move forward. So that's one thing I do like about the notch. On the other hand, though, having to use these gestures all the time for everything, I'm still not all that... I'm not all that sure about it. I mean, after all, one of my daily drivers has been a BlackBerry Key 1 for the longest time. So, of course, there you go. It is official, everybody. I am now an iPhone user. And, I, I mean, y'all can say whatever you like. Um, I had to make some sort of a change. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to using this because, you know, it's different. Um, I'll be able to get a different perspective. And it's... Uh, I think it was something a lot of you expected me to kind of do, is to at least have it as one of my daily drivers, because I use two phones typically. So yes, the iPhone X is now official. Um, so let's set that over here. And that was the unboxing, by the way. Um, as far as all of the other stuff that's involved, uh, there's actually not too much. So you have the headphones, you have the, uh, the cable that I already put aside, and of course the plug adapter, but uh, just another example of how I'm not going to use the plug adapter uh, because I already have a large charging brick where I would use the cable already anyway. So why don't we go ahead and just bring back our Q&A session here and talk about some more questions. Whoa, a lot of you guys joined. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, hey, Joshua Vergara. Do you, uh, Dave, <laughs> David, do you think I could bypass your face ID since we look so similar? Well, after these last two weeks of you hanging out with me and Gadget Match, David, uh, you're practically Filipino now, so I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Psycho Man, coming back again, what are you going to do with your Pixel? It's, it's, it's waiting for me to return to it. Let's just put it that way. If I don't have any other phones to test, because I have other stuff to unbox, actually. I'm not going to do it on this stream, but I'll tease it a little bit. Um, I have other stuff to start using, um, you know, because I was blessed enough. <laughs> blessed. Hashtag blessed. I was fortunate enough uh, to be able to come into a few devices so that I could hit the ground running in my new solo career. Um, and I am going to uh, get started on them, do some reviews, do some videos on them. But when I don't really have anything else to test, it's going to be a Pixel and an iPhone 10. Uh, or whatever the newest versions of those phones are. Uh, let's see what we've got. Logan Naher, will you ever start a weekly podcast? I would love to. And um, there are a few ideas in the wings right now about a podcast that I could do. Um, and uh, the thing is, I need to make sure that I am consistent with what I'm doing now. And so far, so good. Uh, like today's content is this live that I'm hanging out with you guys with. Um, Let's see. Do you watch Dragon Ball Super? I did watch a little bit of it. Um, I'm actually catching up using the movies, but after I watch the next movie, which I think, I don't remember what it's called, I'm going to watch the episodes that follow it. Um, let's see here. Oh, David left, but hey, thank you so much for sticking around, buddy. Uh, will you get, I, will, will ah, Ashley Stevens, will you get AirPods for the iPhone 10? How come they don't sell AirPods on Amazon? I'm really confused by that. I, 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 you can get an iPhone 10 on there real easily, uh, apparently, but yeah, AirPods not on Amazon. I was really disappointed when I saw that. So yes, I want to get AirPods for these. I want to try them out. I want to test them uh, against my favorite truly wireless uh, earphones, these Jabra Elite 65Ts. Um, and let's see. Sean Heron again saying Vice came out with a video today about why Siri is trash. I want to see that video. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, what are your hopes and wants for future smartphones? That's a great question. Um, I did give a little bit of insight as to why I think the notch is not the worst thing in the world. And it's not because there are times when I really hate it because the notch does cut into your content sometimes. And I have already experienced that with iPhone X in the past. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to experience that with other phones as well. But uh, what I really hope is that uh, we make it to a place where battery life is an afterthought. This is an easy thing to say because we really want battery life to be amazing on our smartphones. It hasn't been. Uh, there really haven't been too many big leaps in that regard. Um, but yeah, I mean, I obviously hope that power consumption gets to a point where 
we can go for two or three days um, and that batteries can be enhanced or rather evolved without danger <laughs> because that's the thing right because you're actually working with a contained energy and uh, if a battery gets damaged it can it can mean some pretty bad stuff uh, Spencer Molds, will you? Oh, I keep I keep jumping up and down on the chat. Spencer Molds, will you review the OnePlus Six? Uh, one sec. Shouts out to my buddies over at OnePlus. Thank you so much for uh, supporting me and what I'm doing. I actually have this box. <laughs> it barely fits in the frame. Uh, I actually have this box, and inside of it is not only the OnePlus Six, or at least I hope. They could be playing a mean trick on me, and I open it, and there's nothing in there. But I'm going to open this on my own a little bit later. It's not even going to be a video. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... I should have the OnePlus Six here, and I will be reviewing it as well. I am excited to use that as my daily driver as well. That's the thing. There are a lot of phones right now. And there are a lot of devices that I'm going to end up reviewing and testing. Um, I want to get into laptops. I want to get into gaming, audio, and all that. I mean, after all, I did talk about these a second ago. But there are going to be so many devices that I will be reviewing that it's going to be hard for me to keep up all the time. I mean, I'm just a one-man operation. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to get to them. But bear with me if I'm not at the same if I'm not doing them at the same time as everybody else. Uh, my hope is that I will be able to keep up with everybody else, uh, but on top of that, if I do videos on devices that were already reviewed by other people, I'm just going to try to provide a different perspective on it, and I hope that you're still sticking around because you want to hear what I have to say about it. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how I'm moving forward with all of this, at least for now. We'll see what happens. Uh, my Switch, it's currently in the bag. Um, I do want to play some games right now, but there's a lot of work to do. And even on my birthday today, I'm still working. I mean, that's what this is kind of. Um, let's see here. The Vivo Next. I mean, I love the idea, and I think it's a great. It's I think it's a great concept um, that now Oppo has sort of taken to even the next level. So. I, I want to try both of these phones. So anybody from Vivo and anybody from Oppo, like watching this right now, hit me up. Uh, let's see couple of last questions from the chat. Um, what laptop are you using? Rob DeCourt once again. I'm using an MSI right now. Um, it's actually a couple of, almost a couple of years old. I think it's like a year and a half old uh, because it has a GTX 970 M in it. Uh, and I want to upgrade to something that has like a 1080 or something like that. That's what I really want. Um, let's see what we got here. Brian Gorney, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Let's see here. <laughs> Fourth Matthew Cruz giveaways. I don't. It's gonna take a lot for me to end to, to to do giveaways because I have limited resources as it is. So it's kind of hard for me to do giveaways. If anything, I might do like the odd Google Play uh, store card ten dollar thing once in a while. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing more often than not. But even then, don't get your hopes up yet because uh, I haven't. I'm not planning on doing anything like that anytime soon. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Filipino food recommendations that aren't pancit, adobo, or what's that, boodle? I don't know what that is. Thomas Vu. Sisig. You saw my vlog. I love sisig. Sisig is basically pork meat off of the, mainly the face and the neck area, chopped up into very small bits. Uh, and there's also, I don't know if you know what pork rinds are, but chicharron that is added into there with onion, peppers, um, and uh, lemon pepper seasoning. It's all put together, it's all fried up. At least in what I learned actually after that vlog was that the original sisig is grilled rather than fried. It's just that you know the things kind of changed and in Manila they fry the sisig. So that is going to be um, that is going to be probably the thing I say everyone should try out. Some sisig with some beer, it's the best. Um, let's see what we got. Sean Vega Velez, how do you think the key two will do? I'm super excited to use it. Um, I'm obviously on a key one, uh, or I was uh, until I did all these changes just now. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what the key two is like. Uh, as far as the colors go, um, I usually go black on black, but it's nice to see that they have that silver colorway that's uh, that's pretty gnarly. Okay, back to Twitter for a little bit longer. Um, let's see here. Now you're freaking this. Please review the BlackBerry Key 2 by Monica Betancourt. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, let's see what we got here. 
Bino Valencia, do you happen to own mechanical wristwatches? Uh, I don't. My brother does. Um, he's, a, he's a bit of a watch person. And he actually has one of them, uh, I think they're called Schofield, and they look awesome. They cost a lot. <laughs> um, so that's why. I'm actually not I'm actually not a huge watch person. I mean, as you can see, I'm not wearing anything right now. Um, but I am looking forward to trying out some upcoming smartwatches, even though I've made it clear in the past that touchscreens on my wrists are not my favorite thing in the world. Um, any advice to newbie? I don't, know, I don't want to say noob. Newbie. YouTubers. Mino Merriman. Uh, it's funny that you say that because I'm a newbie YouTuber right now myself. Uh, but my number one thing that I would say is... I'm sure you saw my social media from about a week ago where YouTube did finally say I have met the watch hours. I have met, I've obviously met the subscriber count uh, to be back in the partner program. I haven't gotten a confirmation yet, so I'm just waiting for that to happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I would say the way that you make 4,000 watch hours is by being consistent. And you obviously need to promote yourself a lot, so don't be afraid to collaborate. Don't be afraid to shout yourself out on uh, social media and to tell everybody, hey, watch this. Maybe not put out 20 tweets about one video, though. <laughs> uh, maybe do like one or two and then just sort of consistently. What you should be doing is doing 20 videos over the span of a certain amount of time rather than doing 20 tweets on one video and never doing anything else after that. Um, so don't expect every video to be viral. You cannot manufacture viral video. Just remember that. The one thing you can do though is continue to work hard and continue to create videos and to continue to create, to create content and as long as you're consistent with that over time the people will notice. Um, and even if it's not quite where you want uh, the, uh, the, the numbers to be at a certain point, just keep working at it and eventually you're going to make it at that point. I hope I do. I hope I hit 100,000 fairly soon um, and I, uh, I hope that I can continue this momentum that I've started out with, but even if I don't, I still want to continue doing what I love doing, and that's all of this. And part of, part of the reason why I love doing all of this is because of people like you who are coming to my live stream, hanging out with me on my birthday. I mean, I'm not even out celebrating right now. I'm going to go have lunch, and then I'm going to go to my um, martial arts class tonight for the first time in months. Um, and I'm not even really like going out and partying or anything like that. Today is just, for the most part, another day. Um, so it's that kind of discipline and consistency you have to have. Have. Um, that actually sounds like a perfect time for me to actually say uh, maybe that'll be the end of this stream. Uh, I'm going to look through the responses one more time, but I think that actually is a perfect way of ending this live stream. Uh, one more look at the chat. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Jam, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to hit up some people over at Oppo PH. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right, so I think that that should pretty much handle it. Um, all right, cool. Uh, I think that should pretty much do it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. One more look at my general scene here. You can expect that there are going to be some lives, uh, or I might even do some videos in this way. This is my overhead rig that I do for my overhead shots, and I'm sure you've seen those before. And then, of course, this is just a webcam. I'll give my thoughts on uh, all of this stuff, including the iPhone 10. I'll share how I did this live um, and what equipment that I use and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty crazy setup, and I was really happy to learn that it's working just fine on my first live stream here on YouTube on JV. So uh, it is lunchtime. Um, my family is going to meet me at a hot pot place nearby, so I'm going to get ready for that uh, while setting up this iPhone 10 while we're eating. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, thank you for the live stream, because I wouldn't have had this much fun if it wasn't for uh, you guys coming in and just enjoying it with me. So uh, I'm going to call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching, whether it's live or later. And remember, enjoy your tea, everybody. <laughs>